When a man says, I'm a good man, I don't need to be saved, it's because he's stuffed, rotten, full of pride. I've talked to people, I've witnessed to people, I say, you know, friend, you need to know the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior. He says, well, I want you to know, young man, I'm a member of the Lodge. And if you're a member of the Lodge, you're a good man. You ever hear that? You will if you witness enough. Sweet friend, Jesus said there's none good but one, that's God. And he meant by that that he himself were not good if he were not God. So why did you call me good? Do you realize why I'm good? The only reason I'm good is because I'm God in the flesh. That's what Jesus was saying. Why did you call me good? There's none good but one, that's God. But oh, so many of us are like that proud Pharisee that Jesus told about, Lord, I thank you that I'm not as other men are. And he went home dignified. But that man who bowed his head and smote his breast and he said, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. He went home justified. Jesus Christ told the Pharisees. He said, the harlots and the publicans are going to heaven before you do. And the Pharisees were the most self-righteous, noble, clean, moral men in their town. Jesus Christ, if he were here in Memphis, would say to some of the fine businessmen and church leaders, the girls from the red light district are going to heaven before you do because at least they realize they're sinners and some of them may repent. But you have a disease that you don't even know about. You're saying, what a good boy am I. But Jesus said, except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and the Pharisees, ye shall in no wise inherit the kingdom of heaven. 